Hi again everyone and welcome to another episode of Gospel and Spade. Today we will have a brief overview of the geography and notable features of the Negev in southern Israel. The Hebrew word Negev occurs over a hundred times in the Old Testament and is most often translated simply as South in the King James Bible. The modern day Negev in Israel encompasses a far larger area than the biblical Negev. The modern Negev stretches all the way to the eastern Gulf of the Red Sea, known as the Gulf of Aqaba, and to the northern Sinai Peninsula. This large desert region was the location of both the Wilderness of Zin and Paran in the Old Testament. The biblical Negev, which was situated to the south of the hill country of Judah, was, by comparison, far smaller than the modern day Negev. From north to south, the region was only 20 miles in depth at its maximum, and stretched from the Rift Valley in the east to close to the Mediterranean Sea in the west. The area has a roughly hourglass shape and is surrounded by high ground to the north, south and east. The relatively poor soil and small amount of annual rainfall, which is only about 8 to 12 inches a year, makes the area generally a poor region for crop growth, though this makes it far more suitable for the keeping of large flocks of sheep and goats. The lack of water also meant that in ancient times, the inhabitants of the region depended primarily upon man-made wells that were often situated in the region's many wadis. This use of the land for keeping large flocks of sheep and goats and the reliance upon man-made wells can be seen in both the lives of Abraham and Isaac in Genesis chapter 21 and Genesis chapter 26. These men both lived in the region for a time and dug wells and kept large flocks of sheep in the region. The two main settlements in the region in biblical times were Arad, which was situated in the east of the Negev, and Beersheba, which was located at its western end. Both cities also acted as defensive fortresses to protect the lands of Judah from invasions from the south. The city of Beersheba was also considered the southernmost Jewish settlement in the Old Testament. This is demonstrated by the use of the term in the Old Testament from Dan even to Beersheba, which is used ten times throughout the Old Testament. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe for more new videos every Friday.